Hello there friends, it was quite a challenge to break away from CS2 and record this video, but content doesn't wait. Today we'll discuss the ratings that pro players received after recalibrating their thoughts on the game itself and all the new features. But before we dive in, drop a comment with your CS2 rating, and without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now let's quickly go through some reshuffles before diving into CS2. ITB didn't waste any time and signed Misuta, that's all well and good, but they still lack a captain. I have a feeling it might be the right time to consider Alex, after all he's British, he's been teamless for quite some time now, and he's good. However, the news came. First, Bleaks.gg reported that Kickert is set to become the new captain of Into the Bridge. Now, this is quite something. In all his interviews after Virtus Pro, Kickert mentioned returning to his former role as an aggressive, hard hitting fragger, but there was no talk about him becoming a captain. Things seem to have changed. And then they confirmed it. Into the Breach have signed Kickert for three months as a loanee from Virtus Pro. Let's wish him luck in the new team and on his new role. And since this is the news about Into the Breach, let's also discuss Thomas, their former in game leader. There were rumors that he might join Fear and Smuya's team. However, it seems that he didn't quite fit the bill and they went with the Turkish player Soulfly instead. So now there is another experienced captain on the pro scene without a team. The Mongols also underwent some changes as they removed Hasteka from their roster. The Mongols have been an intriguing team for me. They've changed everyone, removed their most hyped players, but still managed to make noise at majors and tier 1 tournaments. Lastly, some potential transfers involving Deco from One Win. He he revealed in an interview that he could have joined Ants, Spirit, TSM or OG. They all wanted him, but he declined. Why he declined remains a mystery. Maybe they pay him better here, maybe he's not allowed to leave, or maybe simply he believes in the team. But personally, I'd be thrilled to see Deco in Ants. That's all for the reshuffle news, but there are plenty of interesting updates regarding CS2. The semi-open beta is ongoing and it has brought some amusing stories. Here is, for instance, Robs, who is having a hard time getting used to the new shadows. Also, there is a bug that allows you to fly upwards if you bump into each other a lot. It instantly reminds me of the gym stuff with the 300 bucks. Oi, 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> But one of the most annoying bugs is that flashbang at the beginning of each round. It feels like an overkill on Mirage. After the freeze time, you can't see anything for about 20 seconds. People even launched a petition on Reddit to have Valve remove it and it became the most popular thread on the CS2 subreddit. And praise be to Lord Gaben, they fixed it in today's update. There was also a lot of other minor fixes, but getting rid of that flashbang at the start of the round was the most crucial. Of course, there's plenty of bugs in CS2. Some players struggle with shooting, others have issues with bullets not registrating properly, while some seems to get headshots through the walls. But that's what the beta is for to find all the issues, fix them and eventually release a polished game. By the way, according to the latest data, nearly half of all CS players have received their beta invites. Everyone on my team and among my friends got one, even those who mainly play Valorant. What about you? Write in the comments. Additionally, the community has already started creating their own maps. For example, you can now practice your shooting on aimbots. Just google it or search for it in Steam, it's easy. There are guides on the new bunny hopping, on jump throws, there is a constant stream of new graphics settings to increase FPS, super effective molotovs, smokes and more. All this information is coming out quickly and in high quality. I mean, the CST community is just top notch. Friends, I have another fantastic news for you. My partner, MyCSGO, gives away free cases. What do you need to do? Well, it's as simple as possible, just add $2 to your account. Well, the more you top up, the more free cases you get, and they drop three at a time. I haven't seen such generosity yet, and if you get skins of no interest, you can immediately trade them in a contract or upgrade to get an amazing skin. You can repeat that every day. The website has a special provably fair system so that 
that you can check any operation, everything is open. They have been in the game since forever and you can find thousands of reviews on Google. The bonuses don't end there. You can receive a gift every day and by using my unique promo code in the pinned comment you will get additional one. Also if you use live news as a promo code you will get up to 40% bonus for all your top ups. It's just too good to be true isn't it? But here we are. Click on the link in the pinned comment to get it all. Thank you my dear kind friends for watching the ad. Let's move on. But for now let's see what the pro players think about the new game. For example, Kenny isn't too impressed. He mentioned that op flick shots feel random, pistols are very uncomfortable and, you know, you can't play with the left hand, which bothers him a lot. That's probably a trigger for nearly everyone and I saw similar complaints from Rain and many other pro players. Kenny also complained about the tick rate, it feels more like 64. On the other hand, Floppy broke it down. Spraying feels random, pulling down feels bad like my bullets aren't going into the cone I'm trying to produce. Running next to people causes rubber bending. Smokes last slightly too long. I really dislike how goofy player models look while running around and peeking. Doesn't feel like I'm playing a competitive esport. Audio needs to be adjusted. Can't hear correctly and sounds too radio-like. Delay between a smoke landing on top of a molly. Delay when trying to throw a second flashbang after throwing the first one with nade bend. Well, actually I agree with almost every point. Valve still has a lot of work to do. However, JDC is trying to remind everyone that this is not the final version of the game. Everyone bashing CS2 and saying they will retire are clearly missing the point of it being a beta. CSGO in the beta was awful and it turned out to be the best FPS game ever. Give it time and trust. For example, Robs already believes that CS2 is better than CSGO. I've watched a few of his streams, he's a goddamn genius. He spent an hour on Inferno, found several overpowered smokes, flashes and molotovs that I'm sure many pro players will use later. I even had the idea to make the video about players who will excel in CS2 and those who will become the Merkelovs, those who can adapt and will fade into the game's history. If you want me to do such a video just give this one a like and leave a comment below. Depending on your vote I will consider the next video. Also here's what Aker says. Everyone who thinks CS2 sucks right now is stupid. It's perfect the way it is right now. Hashtag adapt. Now let's see what Simple has to say. He was feeding. But it's safe, it's safe, it's safe. One more B. Uh, eight, man. I mean. Данилыч против, да? Да. Непонятно, пока не сильно нравится. Не сильно нравится? Не сильно. Стрельба, да, очень странная. Да тут, блядь, движение, лаги какие-то, блядь. Задержка граната, задержка оружия. Блин, задержка, еще, блядь. Еще как будто... У тебя чел еще слева, да? Не ходит. У меня зависло. Что происходит, пацаны? Да, у меня зависло. Что это вообще за ебнутый рак? Вот мы играем, блядь. Здесь, блядь, тип стреляет, и понятно, тут все висит, блядь. А у него тоже, да, наверное, зависит? А вы поняли, что он слышал в этом числе слева? Yeah, the way how map looks, I like it. I like it a lot. It's so beautiful, yeah. But this fucking locks, you know, like fucking... But of course, the most debated topic is the new system of playing up to 13 rounds, the so-called MR12. So far, it has been only introduced in the premiere mode, but it's expected that the entire pro scene will adapt to it and then the game will officially switch to this format. Opinions are divided on this matter. For example, here's what James says. I've been suggesting a system like this for a long time and expanding the map pool so it becomes more entertaining. We also need to change the economy to make the game tougher. Tighter. Overall it's probably a plus because matches used to be really long. However, a young rising star Dong has a different view. Introducing MR12 in CS2 will only make it worse. More randomness, less entertainment. Maybe underdogs will win more often, but I personally don't like it. By the way, Stiko also believes that this change will make the game less exciting. MR12 is a huge change, but if there won't be any economy adjustments to follow, I am pretty sure 30% of the playtime on Inferno will be just saving. Not good for spectators 
spectators nor players. I've also noticed that there are even more saves on Inferno. The economy is the same, there are fewer rounds and fewer chances for mistakes. And here's what Simple had to say. Not a bad system, it might take a bit to get used to counting the economy. In general, as you can see, most of them are talking about the economy and how it doesn't fit the new format. Zonek described it best. I understand that from the organizers and Valve's perspective they want it to be interesting for the viewers, but as a coach I need more runs to make a comeback. We've seen historic comebacks before. At the moment I'm only worried about the economy. For example, you're playing a best of one, you lose both pistol rounds and now it's very difficult to come back. But then again, the old-timer Taz thinks it's all okay and those who complain are just noobs. Friends, what do you think about the new match format? Had you had a chance to try it in the premiere mode already? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to discuss. Now, since we've started talking about the premiere mode, it's also interesting to see how the players recalibrated. Here's some interesting numbers for you. Simple has over 19,000 points. Olofmeister has 17,000 points. Buster has just under 17,000. Guardian is way over 20,000, just like Rob's. Forrest, the veteran, also got over 20,000 points right away. Everyone thought that the veterans would drop in performance, but their numbers are just as good as today's pro players. But the most amusing thing is that the world's top player has some hieroglyphs in their nickname. And that's all we know about them. Maybe not anymore as the top changes almost every minute, but for several days it was this particular player. Oni Pixel decided to get in touch with them and it turned out to be a girl. What a twist! She had about 3000 ELO in CSGO and plays in a stack of 5 in North America. That pretty much sums up the level of that region at the moment. She lost only a few times or maybe just once and that was when she faced pro players from Complexity, Floppy and JT. But in reality it's incredibly easy to boost your rating right now. All you need to do is to play as a group of 5. And that's all. I mostly played solo and I kept running into stacks of 5. Usually in those matches you have no chance. Interestingly, I first calibrated on my second account and they gave me like 13,000 ELO. On my main, I lost a couple of times towards the end of my 10 victories and they gave me only 8,000. It's a strange system considering that I was getting 30 kills in those games, but it doesn't seem to have any impact. In any case, we'll need to look into this further and I think Valve will make some changes into the system. By the way, let me know about your rating in the comments below. And did you get what you deserve or not? But don't get too excited if you already racked up impressive numbers because it seems like all of this will reset when the game officially releases. There's no confirmation of this yet, but data miners seem to think it's going to happen. Well, there's still a lot of discuss about CS2, but let's save that for the next videos. For now, let's get back to the old good CSGO. In case you forgot, we have the ESL Pro League going on and Group A has just concluded. And nothing supernatural happened. Vitality defeated the Spanish team easily in the upper bracket and secured the first place while Movie Star Riders secured second. And you know what? Let's be honest, it was quite an impressive run from the Spanish team. In the lower bracket finals there was a real showdown between Furia and Astralis. The Danes managed to beat the Brazilians relatively easy and took the third spot. But that's not the end of it, there's still the last chance stage. Surprisingly, NAP ended up here after losing to Furia and then they were eliminated by Game Legion. So the Swedes couldn't make it out of the group stage. It started off so well, they beat Astralis and planned to go straight to the playoffs, but as we can see, it didn't work out. However, I think Furia surprised us the most. On the very first day they lost 0-2 to the Spanish team and everyone wrote them off, but they made it to the lower bracket finals and then to the last chance stage final. They defeated Gamer Legion in overtime and finally made it to the playoffs. Furia had to play a total of 6 matches to achieve this. Meanwhile, Vitality played only 3. So here's the outcome. Vitality in the first place, the Spanish team Movistar Riders in the second, Astralis in third and Furia in the fourth. All these teams made it to the playoffs but entered at different stages. NAP, OG, Game Religion and Greyhound bid farewell to the championship. Today the Group B started and it's not particularly exciting CS either. The draw is very peculiar, the first two groups are straightforward but the last two are super tough. Let's see how things unfold in Group B. I'm confident that Heroic and Ants should secure their rightful first two slots, while Mouse, Monte and B.I.G. will fight for the remaining two spots in the playoffs. Let's see how it actually plays out. 
if you don't want to miss out on everything happening in CS2 and CSGO, just subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that like button. Well, and I won't say goodbye for a long time. See you soon.